we have uh, Dr. Madan A. Sendes, the chairman of uh, Pratinam Group. This is the Engineering Institute Award from Tamil Nadu and uh, Pratinam Technical Campus, Coimbatore, Resumina. selected our institution. We have been from the beginning uh, built this institution with the foundation of total integration of industry with, uh, with the institution and I think uh, that's uh, that's working well and we have been growing quite well in the last uh, 10 years and uh, we have about uh, 2,000 people working in the industries along with the institution having about 3,000 more people which uh, we have been able to build uh, in a very short period which is uh, due to the concept of integrating the institute and the industry. Uh, but, uh, I thank again the 24 MRC team and the uh, uh, policy makers who have been here who have taken out the time to encourage people who have assembled here. Just uh, one quick note I would like to uh, request because the policy makers are here. Uh, basically, uh, I think uh, our uh, Prime Minister Ji, Mr. Modi Ji, has come to power uh, by talking about uh, minimum governance and maximum governance. So, I think in education, uh, lots of regulations, as you all might agree, uh, or may, may not agree also, but lots of uh, regulations or I believe it's redundant and uh, that is stagnating the growth uh, of education in this country is my my view. I have lived in the U.S., studied both there and all that, but you, as you all know, there is no such uh, restrictions, there is no such uh, tight governance of institutions in the in U.S., but then you have the world's best universities in, in the U.S. Uh, so. Uh, what our Prime Minister has thought, minimum governance is the right track. But I, I, I just request that uh, they should take a specific look at education in this aspect, minimum governance aspect. Because, you know, uh, I have come here today, I would just uh, say a simple example. There is some restriction in admitting uh, foreign nationals in our institutions. I mean, there are tons and tons of institutions and it's best to attract international students here. It gives a lot of diversity for, uh, uh, for us and it gives uh, visibility, it earns foreign uh, currency and all that. I mean, I don't, I, can't, I, don't, I can't even think a single reason why there should be any restriction. I think that has been put at some point in uh, history where, uh, you know, there was relevance for uh, foreign nationals not to come here or whatever. Yes. But that regulation is still there. Like that, there are hundreds of regulations in education also, which are irrelevant. I would just request the uh, members uh, and the policy makers and the minister here to just take a quick, uh, I mean, very aggressive look at the minimum governance aspect, which I Thank you.